All right, this is video three. In video three, I'm going to show you how to buy stocks using the Ting or Swim platform. Okay. Okay, I have already opened up the Ting or Swim, so I'll just bring it up first. All right. So now, as usual, I'm going to collapse uh, this page here. This page, which is all the my cash position. So I'm just going to close it. Go to the monitor page. Now at the monitor page here, I have the uh, this is the Apple, this is the SPY ETF, the Walmart. Alright, so I'm going to make a trade now. I'm going to go to the trade tab. Okay, so let's say for example, today I'm going to, um, for demonstration purpose, I'm going to buy this stocks called uh, Microsoft. Okay, so I'm going to key in the Microsoft uh, ticker here. MSFT. Okay, press enter. Okay, now you will see that you have a drop down list. Now, of course, you, what you're going to see is that the this the first drop down list over here, this is called the underlying. Now, the underlying itself is already the stocks. Now, over here, there's a, this option chain. So, you may find this very, um, maybe very interrupting. So, maybe I'll just collapse it to make it look neater. So, we just need to focus our attention over this row here. Now, this is the underlying. So, let me repeat again. Now, well, you can see that this is the last price, uh, this is the change for the day. Now over here there are these two, which is the bid and then the ask. Okay, so if you want to buy a stocks, you have to buy at the ask price. And if you're going to sell, you're going to sell at a bid price. So in case you do not know, uh, this is a, a very simple way to look at it, is to just bring your cursor over this price here. So okay, now, now I want you to make an observation. Okay, can you see that there is nothing at the end of my cursor? The moment I bring it nearer okay can you see that there's a cell there's a little pop-up cell below the cursor okay so which means that if i have to sell i have to sell at this price okay so this is 54.60 now now if i need to buy i'll go over here so this is what i got to do this is where i need to buy it okay so i'm going to click on it okay the moment i click on it you can see that over here there is a pop-up now you see that this is a stocks, and then you say that I'm going on the buy side. Okay, so by default, um, I'm going to buy a hundred. So by default, they will just give us a hundred. So the same as Microsoft. All right. By default, they will give us a limit price because you can choose other kind of uh, order. Uh, maybe you can choose um, market order, but preferably we will go for the limit. The limit order simply says that you're going to buy at the best price. Now over here, there is this. Um, this is the time. So this 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 is day. Simply means that if you place your order, okay. So within today, if you do not get it, the order will be cancelled. So there is another one which is this thing called GTC, which is good till cancel. This means that if I'm going to place my order and I do not get the stocks, this order will be in the system for as long as maybe a, a period of time. If I'm not missing, it's three months. So this is good till cancel. So until you cancel it, else the order will be always in the system. All right, now say for today, we'll, I'm going to go for a day order. Means that if I can't get it today, and that's it. Now, uh, for example, now the Microsoft is trading at 54.60. Um, I would like to buy it at the price of, let's say, okay, 54.50. Okay, so that's how is it like? 54.50. Okay, so this is my Microsoft. All right. Now, once I have all these things here, a hundred stocks, click confirm and send. Now, after you click confirm and send, there will this pop up box. So this pop up box is for me to confirm my order. So let's uh, we always go through uh, read the confirmation first before we click the send button. Okay, so I'm going to buy one hundred Microsoft at fifty four point fifty limit. Okay, I'm going to open the positions now. Okay, so in this case, uh, the commission is seven dollar ninety five cents. All right. Okay, so I guess everything looks okay. So press send. Okay, so it has been sent out. Now you can see that my now if you want to look at your order now, what you can do is that you can go to the monitor page. All right. Now you can see that my Microsoft uh, zero, there's nothing yet. Okay, I haven't got the stocks yet. So 
over here there is this thing called working order okay now what does it mean let me just open it it just says that my Microsoft I placed my Microsoft uh, the buying order now it is uh, waiting for it to be filled okay let's collapse it so so this is how we place an order okay maybe well I'll, maybe I'll try another one so that I'll just make sure that we can uh, come out if you if you okay, maybe I'll just do a cancellation first okay, this one here so that I can demonstrate something uh, which is easier for you to see so let me just cancel it first okay so I have already cancelled the order so now there's no more Microsoft order inside now let me just do a trade again okay I'm gonna do um, maybe Microsoft again okay now you can see that the price is now at around 54.55 so I click on it okay so I'm gonna buy a hundred of it at 54.55 okay five six so I mean this thing will changes according to the price so confirm okay send okay you hear the you hear the sound there so over here it says that the trade has been made okay let's go to the monitor page so when I go to the monitor page can you see that the Microsoft now has already entered into my uh, position so just click the drop down okay it says that I have already got Microsoft in my portfolio okay so that's it for today. Okay, thank you.